Boost 9R, 155, 165, 275, 325, electric start. Ah, oh, there's so many choices. What should I buy? Hey everybody, Jason here with another video. So I've had this question, all these questions, quite a bit over the summer. People thinking about upgrading and just asking me my opinion on, you know, should I go with the Boost? Are you really that happy with your 9R? Is the 325 track really that good? Is the 275 okay? Should I go 155 or is that too short? I was thinking 146 or maybe should I go 165? And that is such a tough question. And it's again, if you listen to other podcasts, you know, Snow West, Chris Brandt, they're gonna tell you they don't have an answer for you. You need to figure that out for yourself, right? But here's some of my experiences just to help you make a better decision. Right now, Polaris has some pretty awesome uh, incentives, like $3,000 off and a GoPro Hero 12 Black. That's what I'm filming this on right now, by the way. Does a pretty good job. Just out here with the walk. Out here with Fergus for a walk. But I'm telling you, um, it's too bad that those incentives are mostly on 2023s because if you ride out west here in BC or Montana, Idaho, I'm telling you, go with the 325 track. Really good reviews out there on the internet, but just from my experiences, it is such a good track for any condition. So that's low conditions, deep snow. Another thing too, um, if you're thinking, 9R, just do it. You will not be disappointed. The majority of the riding we do, it's not the deepest days, and I really like riding in the trees, you know. Um, picking new lines, and that lightweight of the 9R is so nice. Now, if you were thinking boost, you wanna go boost, you probably won't be too disappointed. The only thing is, is you do notice that front end weight. So, the experience I had this year was on a 155 Chaos Boost and it really likes to wheelie. So when it does that, it makes the front end feel a lot lighter. Also, we put a titanium can from RPM on it. It's the titanium chambered Q-Muff. Really quiet, but super light. And you really notice that lighter weight on the front end where normally it feels pretty heavy. Track length, well, here's the thing. I've only really, I've had a 165 on an A50 Chaos, and that was pretty sweet, but I definitely prefer the 155, especially on the 9R. Just makes it feel so much lighter, turns a little bit, it's just more nimble. Now, I haven't been on a Chaos Boost 165 325 yet, and that's the track that I really wanna try. I've been on a couple Pro RMK Boosts 165 to 275, and they're okay, lots of traction. Uh, another thing too, electric start. The 9R is pretty easy to pull over. Initially, I thought it felt a little bit tight, but it's nothing, you know, you get used to it. I don't see any reason to buy electric start on a Polaris. They start so easy, really easy pull effort, and then it usually starts on the first or second pull. Don't hit any rocks. Me, I want one of each sled. I, I want a boost for those days when you're planning on riding more wide open terrain, much more fresh snow. But if it's any other day when you're planning on, you know, sticking to the trees, not a huge snowfall, I'm going 9R. That lightweight, instant acceleration. It's the hardest accelerating snowmobile out there, especially if you do some clutch adjustments. So this year I'm hoping to upgrade to the Ibex clutch kit. I just gotta start saving up for one. Or maybe Ibex, I could uh, do a little review if you wanna send me one. That'd be pretty awesome. I do honest reviews, right? If it's not what I like, I'm gonna say it. So one other question I had was about the cooling with that 325 track. People are worried that with that real tall lug height that it might get, um, that the sled might start to overheat when you're going up the trail. But luckily in 2024, Flares came out with their new reversible ice scratchers, so the spade style, and they do an awesome job. They send a lot of snow up into the tunnel and as long as you have some speed up, you know, you're going down the trail fast enough where those um, scratchers can throw snow up into the tunnel, I never had an issue cooling. No. Nope. So let's uh, take a look at these new ice scratchers in action. A 
That's so hard. <laughs> I don't think they do make a difference. I don't know. I can't say the same for um, our 22 sleds. Like my chaos was okay, but I know um, one of the sleds in our group was a 165 Pro with the matrix slash tunnel and it had the 275 track and that sled tended to overheat way more than mine did. And so you just had to constantly be going off the trail, getting some fresh powder on the side. I did have my sled overheat one time this year and that was going up into Tamarack Ridge. We're going up into drainage in the springtime, it's firmer conditions, going slow, waiting for the guys behind me to catch up, right? And yeah, it hit 170 degrees Fahrenheit, went into reduced power mode. So I had to stop for a bit, get going and get some fresh powder up into the tunnel to get it to cool down. So I think that was about all the questions that were asked me recently. 9R or boost, 165 or 155, 325, 275, and electric start, yay or nay. Oh, and also chaos versus pro. So for me, again, it's, all day long. Chaos 155 9R with the 325. And that's exactly the sled I have. I've had a lot of seat time on it. It is, to me, the best all around snowmobile. It's super fun, really capable, very fast. But again, uh, you just gotta get it clutched for your elevation so you're not over revving like I was initially. If I had the means, I'd also have a boost Chaos. And you know what, I might actually go 165 325 just because the reason I want that sled is for those deeper days and when you're kind of exploring more open terrain. So why not have the most capable sled from Polaris? I'll likely have this 9R for at least a couple more years. Uh, that's just assuming the thing holds up. Uh, the motor, I'm kind of worried about it a little bit being a mod motor kind of strung out. How long is this thing going to last? I'll probably be able to make it last a long time as I don't run them super hard. So if Polaris in the future comes out with that 9R boost like they use on the race on the Rimshaw circuit, I'll be buying one. All right, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe, share this with buddies that are thinking about upgrading to a new sled, and we'll see you next time.